Today, we're talking about balls. And I, oh! Hamster balls, calm down. Hey everyone and welcome back for another video. In today's video we're going to be talking about hamster balls. So I will start off by saying that hamster balls are a big discussion point in the pet community and it is really a 50-50 on whether you let your hamster use them or not. Whether you decide that you think they're good or bad for your pet is entirely up to you. In my own personal opinion, I feel very strongly about not giving your hamster a hamster ball. I think they're very, very dangerous and can be very harmful to your hamster. So yeah, I don't think they should be used at all. In Germany, hamster balls are listed as unsuitable and high-risk supplies for your hamster. This means that in Germany, they don't use hamster balls and they do believe that they are actually really, really unsafe for your hamster. So yeah, let's get into the point to why... I think you shouldn't be using a hamster ball and then you can take all the good points that you know or you think is good and take my bad points and then decide whether you should use one of these bad boys. As the hamsters can't really manoeuvre or rotate or move properly in the hamster balls, they often collide with pieces of furniture or walls or even end up falling down stairs which can cause some serious injury. Hamsters are flight animals which means they run away from danger and hide. And if your hamster can't get out of this hamster ball, it's going to elevate their fear, it's going to make them very, very scared, and it's going to cause high levels of stress. And we all know that one of the main causes for wet tail in hamsters is high levels of stress, which is life-threatening to your hamster. So while your hamster is in the ball, they have no direct way of getting out, being able to hide, using their natural instincts. And this stresses your hamster out and they're literally just locked up for everyone to see. And this is the direct opposite of the way a hamster should be kept. The feeling of the hamster being in danger is what causes the hamster to run around and crash into walls, which leads the owner to then think, Oh, a cute hamster having fun and running around the room. Which is completely the opposite of what's happening. Hamsters would never willingly enter a hamster ball, lock it up and use it for running around. Hamsters like to experience everything firsthand, which means they've not been in one of these. But even if they really, really loved it, which most likely 99.9% .9 chance that they don't. Some hamsters love chewing on electrical wires, but would you still let your hamster chew on electrical wire even though you know it's dangerous? Hamsters, among other animals, love to experience things with their senses. They love to hear, smell, see, touch, everything that they can. Hamsters mark their territories by using scent glands, urine and poo. As they're stressed, hamsters will release more urine and poo and often cover the inside of the ball which makes the inside of the ball unhygienic and dirty. Oh! As they can't just leave the ball whenever they want, hamsters are then forced to run around in their own urine and feces which can cause infection and make them feel very uncomfortable. A hamster ball is never ventilated enough. The vents are tiny in these and often get clogged by poo which causes most of the breathing spaces to then become covered, leaving your hamster with even less space to breathe in. Therefore, this leaves your hamster feeling like it is slowly suffocating and this results in panic and fear again and your hamster's stress levels slowly rise a little bit more. This also causes the hamster to start running faster as well, which we all know how that goes. Run montage. Oh, a cute hamster having fun and running around the room. Going back to the vents again, they are much too small for your hamster to breathe, but they are just big enough for your hamster to catch a toe or even a full leg sometimes can fit through these vents and this can cause serious injury to your hamster's legs, their toes, it can even cause amputation. Hamster balls are way too small, like way too small. For dwarf hamsters, their wheels should be roughly between 8 and 12 inches. For Syrians and other bigger species of hamster, their wheels should be between 10 and 14 inches. Most commercial hamster balls are only between 4 and 7 inches, which is way too small. <laughs> That's what she said. Sometimes when putting their hamster in a hamster ball, people think that the hamster's safe to then go and meet other pets because the hamster is safe in the ball. As hamsters cannot orientate themselves and don't understand or know where they're going because using their senses is almost impossible, they can run into other animals accidentally and be thrown around or even at a worst case scenario, they can be attacked. Also, nine times out of 10, hamster ball lids are not safe. They can pop off very, very easy. Sometimes 
you can tighten them like this as well and it leaves like the tiniest little gap. Yeah, the lids pop off very, very easily. If your hamster was to run into a wall or fall down the stairs, the lid would pop off, leaving your hamster to escape. And this leaves you saying, Wow, I didn't know it did that. Okay guys, that is everything that I have for you in this video. If you have any questions, go right ahead and ask me in the comment section. As I always say, I do try and reply to most comments if I possibly can. If I miss them, I do apologise, but I do try and check every single comment that comes through my comment section. If you haven't already, go ahead and smash that like button and hit the subscribe button followed by the bell to get notified when I upload new content. And if you would like to see new content from me, that's a good reason to hit the subscribe button. I'll see you all later, guys. Bye.